Well, hi there! I am back! Can you believe it? This is almost an up-to-date video, except that it's a month behind when I got this, but look! I've got a fairy loot crate <laughs> to unbox! Let us swing into that intro and we will get into this bad boy. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. It's me, Janine. I am in my wonderful literature jumper that is by my best friend Omna, who you can find on Etsy at Brown Girl of Books. I have got my Classics Candle, which is actually um, Thornfield Hall by Luna Love by Karina, who you can also find on Etsy. You can use my code Janine10 to save 10% on any of your purchases. And this candle smells of black raspberry tea leaves and black English tea. It is so, so good. I love the scent of raspberry. It's one of my favorites of all time. Um, generally, as I said, this candle is Thornfield Hall. And um, I asked Karina to make a custom label for me for the classics because when I ordered this candle, I actually hadn't yet read um, Jane Eyre. And so I have since then read it and I totally could have kept this as Thornfield Hall. But I do actually really love this candle as the classics anyway. So remember, Janine 10 will save you 10% on any of your orders through Karina's store on Etsy. And I do highly recommend because there's so much love and care put into every single one of her candles. Now, what you're really here for. This is the January unboxing of um, the Fairy Loot Crate. This is the last Fairy Loot Crate that I ever received. And the reason for that is because I decided to no longer renew my subscription. And it isn't because of anything that Fairy Loot did. It was a personal decision. But without further ado, I'm going to get into this box. It should not be a spoiler for anyone at this point what is in the box. Because most people have already had it for a full month. And are likely receiving their February boxes now. <laughs> Let's get into this box. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, January 2020's theme was Moon and Stars. You can see, oops, <laughs> you can see the beautiful artwork there. It basically looks like a combination of Hermione and Belle, um, which is pretty awesome. I will try and use the spoiler card as we go along to tell you what I have received. So first off, we've got a brown envelope. Okay, um, what we have in this envelope is a Moon Phases necklace, which was designed by Novran Tail. Um, if you can see it, there's actually nothing on the necklace. I think the pendant came off in the bag, or it, at least I hope it did. Oh good, it did. Okay, so I'm going to have to get out probably um, some pliers and put this back on so I can wear it. But I actually really love the idea of wearing the moon phases. Um, lately I've been really kind of <laughs> going towards more of the witchy things and not because I want to capitalize it on it because it's a trend, but just because I think it's really nice and I like how they live their lives and believe in things. So I will definitely be wearing this moon phases necklace in the near future. Okay, so next up we have some Starry Fairy Lights. Um, and so this is literally just a string lights that I think you use AA or AAA batteries and turn them on. And they're lights in the shape of stars. So, um, see if you can see the stars on the ropes there. That is what they look like and I don't know if they're a yellow light or a white light um, but I will definitely give them a try and if I don't love them then I'll just pass them on to someone else who can love them. Okay so the next thing we have is a little box that says my little moon trinket dish. So let's take a look at that. Oh it's so sweet! Oh guys look! 
I love that. I will definitely be using that. I always love, ooh, <laughs> I always love trinket trays. I think they're just so sweet and special and a really good cute way to hold things that you don't know where to put. So I will definitely be using and loving this trinket tray. Okay, next up it looks like we have a pillowcase. Um, we have got a beautiful dreamscape. We've got books in the moon with a girl reading. And on the back it says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? And that is by Oscar Wilde. Really love the colors, blue and white. I'm probably going to put this in my front room because I do love the colors. Um, so this was by Becky Thorne's Designs. Um, it is so beautiful. I love the quote. Well done to you. Um, it's always nice to have some of the classic authors included because usually... Um, a fairy loot is very much contemporary. It doesn't really do a lot. It, like, it does new releases rather than classic authors. And so it's nice to have them included in the items actually within the box. Oh, I have another brown envelope. And it says, ooh. Even the darkest of stars keychains with glow-in-the-dark effect. It was designed by Dust and Pages. So... If you can see the card there, the keychain obviously came off of it. Oh, that's a cute little dragon with a crescent moon. Very cute indeed. Um, I collect keychains. I don't know if I'll use this little guy, but it is really sweet all the same. Next, I have what appears to be a notebook, and on the front of it, it says, You have me until the last star in the galaxy dies. You Have Me. And that's from Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Annie Kaufman. There you go. Very sparkly. I always love metallic and shiny things. And so it says this design was created for Fairy Loot, but it doesn't say who created it. So it looks gorgeous. Well done all the same. It is a plain lined notebook. Um, nothing special in it, but the the design is really beautiful. All right, next up, oh, I've got two things. Um, we've got moon and star paper clips, but there's, an, oh, okay. <laughs> so there are moon and star paper clips, but at first I was like, um, there's no moon, but on the front side, you have the star outlines, and on the back, when it's usually flat, there's the crescent moon. So that's so cool. Um, these were actually designed... Doesn't say. Again, I'm going to assume they're exclusive for Fairy Loot. Very cool. We then have the tarot cards, which were designed by Gabriella Bujdoso. Bug I'm so sorry. I'm butchering your name so hardcore. Um, but these are the King and Queen of Cups, and it's inspired by the Ember and the Ashes by Saba Tahir. So there is the King of Cups, and there is the Queen of Cups. Um, beautiful artwork, as always. I'm actually really sad because I'm not continuing the subscription, that I'm going to miss out on the tarot cards. Um, I know that I could buy them as extra from the fairy loot shop if I wanted to, but the fact of the matter is I just don't have the money to do that right now, and so I'm definitely not going to be doing that, even though I'd like to. Alright, we're now getting into the meat and potatoes of the box. Um, like I said, it's super late, and you guys should probably already know what's coming. I kind of do, or I have a suspicion, um, but we will see. So, we've got my amazing bookmark that goes with the spoiler card. I always love how the bookmarks go with the spoiler cards. just feels like you have a very accessible and reusable item um, that continues to incorporate the amazing artwork. That is done for the spoiler card. I've got my newsletter. And I have a letter from the author. And yes, this book is what I thought and I'm very excited that it is because I've been seeing it on Instagram and I really actually wanted it. Um, 
I think it's a story that I need to read, especially because it's told in own voices. So the book is going to be Woven in Moonlight by Isabella Ibanez. Um, and there are also these really adorable stickers that came with it, which I'm totally going to be using for art journaling. Um, my art journaling will likely mostly be shown on Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, please do consider doing it. Um, I'm definitely more active on there than I am on booktube, although I try to be equal, it's just not equal. I know I spend more time on there, it's easier for me, it's more accessible, and just a lot of my friends are through that platform. So I do hope you consider following me on Instagram. My username is the same as it is here on booktube, and it is Janine the Reading Queen. So the book, as I said, is Woven in Moonlight, and it is it says seize the night on the front it's got a little sloth an owl um a tropical bird there's a sword with blood on it, it looks like a ninja a snake like ugh, so beautiful um if i remember correctly this is a exclusive cover for fairy loot so it is amazing i love it it is gorgeous the Naked cover it has an embossed moon and stars on it, um, so I can see why the stars and moon played a very big part in the curation of this box. We have beautiful silver print on a black uh, hardcover book, and on the reverse of the cover we have gorgeous artwork as well. So, um, despite me wanting to like have this book uh, for quite some time, I don't actually know what it's about. I know it's own voices, which is very important to me to read those types of books. Um, but I don't know where the story goes. So, I'm going to tell you what it's about, if you don't know already. So, it says, A lush tapestry of magic, romance, and revolution, drawing inspiration from Bolivian politics and history. Jimena is the decoy condesa a standard for the last remaining illustrian royal. Her people lost everything when the usurper, Atok, used an ancient relic to summon ghosts and drive the illustrians from La Ciudad. Now, Jimenez, motivated by her insatiable thirst for revenge and her rare ability to spin thread for moonlight. When Atok demands the real Condesa's hand in marriage, it's Jimena's duty to go in her stead. She relishes the chance, as illustrian spies have reported that Atox no longer carrying his deadly relic. If Jimena can, be, can find it, she can return the true aristocrata to their rightful place. She hunts for the relic, using her weaving ability to hide messages in tapestries for the resistance. But when a masked vigilante, a warm-hearted princessa, and a thoughtful healer challenge Jimena, her mission becomes more complicated. There could be a way to overthrow the usurper without starting another war, but only if Jimena turns her back on revenge and her con condesa. Um, this sounds amazing. I really hope it doesn't disappoint. Lately, um, I will say that YA fantasies have been letting me down hardcore, and I really don't want this to be one of those books. Um, it seems like it has really good reviews from authors that I know, and so I want to believe in them and know that this is going to be an amazing book. So that was an amazing haul. I'm really impressed, as always, with what came for me. I can really utilize just about everything that came in this box. Now, as I'm filming this video, knowing that other people are probably currently getting their next uh, box from Fairy Loot for February, which I think the theme was Rule Breakers, um, I kind of have that missing out feeling but I know that I did what was best for me. And I guess in that same way, it's important for you to know that there are gonna be other people who are in your story and they're gonna try and influence you, but at the end of the day, you need to be responsible for your own story. You need to take in the information that's given to you and understand how 
it affects you if it's good if it's bad if it's neutral and you have to be in charge of your story there's no one who's going to know your life and your circumstances and what's going on in your mind better than you so make sure that you are aware that you are taking everything in and that you're going forward having looked at all of your options and knowing what's best for you that is all i've got for you today and i will hopefully have another video for you soon um lots of love and stay beautiful friends Goodbye.